Now, we're going to go out to Lindsay. I'm out of breath here, and Lindsay might be as well, because she has some inspiration for you. If you're starting to lose steam on those fitness goals for the new year, Lindsay, oh, there goes Zach. He's running also. Hey, Lindsay. <laughs> Hey Cassidy, yeah, it's January. This is the time everybody makes that resolution. They're gonna get back in the gym, get fit. So I am here at Northwest Personal Training in downtown Vancouver with Sherry McMillan. And uh, you know, this is the time. People are going back. What are some of the new trends for 2019? Let's get people excited in, in the gym. Yeah, well, I've been in the industry for 30 years and every year they come up with what's the new cutting edge, most popular types of movement and exercise. And so for 2019, number one on the list is again, high intensity training. So people I think are recognizing that they don't have a lot of time and they want to get results quickly. And so they're looking for, you know, hard, fast, explosive, get it done and get results quickly. So um, we have uh, Nate Brown right here who's going to demonstrate because there's a lot of different ways you can do high intensity training. You can do like traditional Tabata where you go 20 seconds really hard, 10 seconds easy, 20 seconds hard, do multiple sets of that. Or you could just set up a little circuit where you go really hard for maybe 30 to 60 seconds. So Nate's doing a skipping. Let's say he did 30 seconds as hard as he could, then he dropped it and then he went right over to a strength exercise. And so with high intensity training, it's typically going to be full body exercises, more, more quick, more explosive type of movements, and that will really get your heart rate up and really drive the intensity. You're not going to have like a bicep curl by itself yeah. be a high intensity exercise. It needs to be compound, it needs to be integrated. So you could go from a squat and press and then right into a burpee. Burpees, I hate burpees, they're the worst. But notice this is a, a modified burpee. So this is really good entry level where all he, he's not doing the push up, he's not doing the jump up. Maybe a little he's, easier version yeah. for some somebody. People could just step out and in instead of jumping out and in. So there's lots of ways you can modify a burpee. Yeah. So he could go as hard as he could for 30 seconds each exercise, take a break and then go through it again and that would really drive your heart rate up and you know, 20 minutes you've got a really good workout. A lot quicker, you don't have to be in the gym for an hour totally. and maybe something you could take and do at home in your living room. A lot of the body weight movements, which is also one of the trends for 2019 is just using your body as your machine, is uh, you know, just doing push-ups and squats and lunges and pull-ups and things of that nature which really drive your heart rate up and work the full body. And okay, we have the high intensity training. What are some of the other things that people should be focusing on? Yeah, well, one of the other really important trends is mobility training and release training. And what that means is it's not, it's not always important to go as hard as you possibly can and exhaust yourself. So sometimes people say, oh, more is better. And so I'll just do a ton Work of out really hard and that's right. gonna be, yeah. yeah. No, and so mobility training is where instead of thinking like go as hard as you can, instead it's about technique and it's about lengthening while you strengthen and it's about taking your body through full range of motion, developing good range of motion, pain-free range of motion. So Nate, why don't you come on over and show some of the mobility exercises We're over gonna here. We're going to move back yeah. here, just real quick, demonstrate, yeah, yeah. what are we talking about so here? So on this one here, all he's doing is sitting with really good form, and he's taking his uh, femur, his thigh, and he's taking it and just rotating it through the hip socket, and so it's just taking that internal and external rotation. A lot of people are really tight in their hips, so it's just developing range of motion, mobility, helping to release, um, so that's a good one. And and uh, we can do like a lunge variation, which again, instead of being explosive in the lunge, instead he's going to work more on technique and rotation and range of motion and lengthening while he's strengthening. And so, so good to have a mix. You got to have the high intensity, but then also something so you're not so tight after you work out. Absolutely. You've got to have a mix. You don't want to have every single workout high intensity training. You really want to make sure you incorporate some yoga and you incorporate some bar and you incorporate lengthening as well as that really high intensity work. All right, we're at Northwest Personal Training, downtown Vancouver. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration to carry out that New Year's resolution. Cassidy, I'm going to send it back to you. Amazing. I am totally going to watch that again later and actually do all the moves.